Hey guys, welcome to all of you on our channel that is the Chief IAS. So friends, as you know that on our channel we are targeting the exam of civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our channel that target your prelims as well as mains. So friends, uh, also on this channel we have a series in which we daily discuss uh, important articles or opinions of uh, Indian Express newspaper. Uh, so this series uh, has been started by us uh, a few days back in which we daily discuss the uh, uh, discuss the articles that have uh, that uh, that that are there in the Indian Express newspaper and that are important from your exam point of view. So today is October 19, uh, 2019. So let's discuss the articles of today. So before discussing articles, friends. Uh, I have to clear one doubt of uh, you people so uh, some students were saying okay, sir, please upload the video early in the morning by 6 to 7 so first of all let me tell you friends uh, that uh, uh, I belong to a remote region in which, in which the newspaper uh, re uh, reaches by 8 8, 8 a.m. and other thing is that uh, I'm a type of person who uh, who works with calmness so obviously uh, uh, I think that uh, it is not uh, bad to wake up early in the morning but the issue is uh, if we read newspaper just from your exam point of view then that will not be going to benefit so I read newspaper for, uh, for, from uh, from the viewpoint that uh, okay we have to figure out the important articles also then we have to uh, uh, we have to make uh, the intellectual development of our mind so uh, solely uh, focusing that exam based approach will not work so that's why I take some time uh, to upload the video because uh, I read the article uh, in in, th uh, in complete uh, thoroughness and uh, I don't like to go in hurry and then uh, um, explain you things uh, 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 half things and leave other half things so here uh, let's start our discussion so the, uh, so the first article that we are going to discuss is crunch time for secular so friends uh, about this article let me tell you that uh, the, uh, I don't want to discuss this article because this is from your uh, uh, this is an article which has some political uh, uh, issues that have been highlighted but but the main thing is that I want to keep myself as a neutral uh, mentor of you people but if so far as your intellectual development is concerned uh, your uh, uh, your viewpoint is concerned such type of as uh, such a type of article help you in understanding the issues more comprehensively so uh, this article is about how Congress uh, uh, has uh, uh, lost its relevant today and how the uh, the principles that Congress followed they have been uh, uh, they have been kind of we can say the author says the uh, have been hijacked by the BJP so uh, if uh, it, uh, it is it is very important you read this article because it helps uh, in uh, uh, making uh, uh, making your intellectual development because uh, so as I have said you uh, uh, that only preparing from exam point of view will not benefit you you may score good in mains but then you will you will surely um, uh, get less marks in interview if you don't have the understanding of various issues so such type of issues though they are political but uh, uh, the debates that are going on in country they are based on such type of issues so their sources are such type of issues so whether it is uniform civil court or citizenship amendment bill or the NRC then all these things have uh, uh, their origins uh, in uh, in such type of uh, things so you must read it so it is basically about uh, how uh, the uh, liberal tenants of Indian democracy are, comprom uh, are on compromise this point uh, has been highlighted by the article so I will not go into detail of it so I leave it to you people to read now let's move to the next article next is shut out the noise so this article is about economy so obviously uh, you might have uh, read the newspaper and you might be aware of aware of the fact that our economy is facing slowdown so various indicators have been released uh, which show that economy is not performing well so in this context uh, uh, the uh, the ruling party and the opposition party uh, are uh, are in a, are in a kind of spat uh, with each other uh, uh, kind of blaming each other so in this are uh, in this context uh, the author highlights that uh, uh, that though we all know that this economy is in uh, uh, is, is in slowdown process but such type of uh, we can say such type of debate uh, we can say public uh, 
spatting between uh, opposition parties uh, will obviously dampen the investor confidence so uh, if uh, if the opposition blames uh, the government and uh, and if government doesn't take the constru uh, criticism constructively then uh, it will uh, give the give the uh, will, will will give the impression to the investor that the government is not serious in bringing in reforms and it will uh, it is only uh, uh, running away from its uh, failures so in this context the author says that criticism is bound to happen and the government must take it constructively and must look uh, at the issues that can be taken up to reform so here uh, uh, only one line that is important is the last paragraph so uh, though all the uh, context is important but you can read it the last paragraph is that basically uh, the government should not uh, squander this second term that is uh, uh, that is of the nda which has won massive mandate in the recent lok sabha elections so here uh, the author says rather than uh, uh, say uh, adopting traditional methods uh, because uh, for example if traditional conventional methods of dealing with slowdown for, uh, that whether they are fiscal measures or monetary measures they are not working so in this context government must focus uh, focus upon the reforms that can be undertaken for example the government has announced corporate reduction in corporate tax and various other measures have been announced by the government so in the same line uh, the government must also adopt other reforms which, which are uh, Uh, which are in one way or in other way uh, uh, hampering the growth of the economy so though they had in this article the author uh, uh, has uh, does, hasn't uh, highlighted those reforms but may, uh, mainly those reforms are relating to land reforms and then labor laws and uh, other major reforms that that must be undertaken so this is about your uh, uh, second article so you can read about it now next uh, this article is not important from your exam point of view actually uh, in today's indian express as uh, the articles have not been much uh, uh, important so in today's uh, newspaper but yeah this article is very important that is supreme protection so this article is has been written in the context of lynchings that have been all over uh, that have been happening all over india so here the author says that uh, uh, on january uh, uh, 1 2019 uh, 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 our prime minister spoke on lynching that any such in incidents does not re re reflect well on a civil so civilized society so it is totally wrong and condemnable and we must improve to uh, work towards improving uh, uh, the situation collectively so uh, later also when uh, when the lynching in jharkhand took place uh, the prime minister in rajya sabha said that uh, the lynching in jharkhand has pained me and it has saddened others too so then uh, author uh, talks about the supreme court of india's decision uh, judgment that was given on july 17 2018 in which it held that there can be no shadow of doubt uh, that the authorities which uh, uh, which are uh, which are con conferred with the responsibility to maintain law and order in the states have the principal obligation to see that vigilantism be it cow vigilantism or any other vigilantism of any perception does not take place so here are the main issues of vigilantism because uh, it has been alleged that this cow vigilantism or any other form of vigilantism has led to the increased uh, phenomena of lynchings so supreme court has observed that it is the responsibility of the state to maintain law and order and, and it must prevent such type of vigilantism so if uh, uh, the uh, the judgment also said that uh, when uh, when any any such group uh, that carries a particular idea uh, uh, that takes uh, uh, if if it, that, that particular group takes the law into its own hands then it ushers in anarchy chaos disorder and eventually the there is an emergence of violent society so basically uh, lynching also supreme court highlighted that uh, that it shows that uh, it it's it, it is an lynching is basically an insult of rule, rule of law of an insult of uh, uh, law and order so it must also be it also uh, affects the values of the constitution itself so hate crimes must be prevented and they are uh, they, uh, whether they are product of intolerance or ideological dominance and prejudice and they must uh, not be tolerated so otherwise it will lead to reign of terror so in this context uh, the supreme court laid various uh, laid down various guidelines for the central and state governments while announcing its judgment at that time for example including preventive ameliorative and punitive measures so and also it directed that the there must be uh, police uh, officers nodal that that must act as police uh, nodal officers in every district of the state of every state that will act as nodal officers to deal with such matters relating to lynching so also uh, it also recommended to the uh, 
पार्लियामेंट दैट द पार्लियामेंट मस्ट कम विद अप्रोप्रिएट लेजिस्लेशन टू मेक लिंचिंग पर्टिकुलर ऑफेंस एंड पर्टिकुलर एंड सेपरेट ऑफेंस फॉर लिंचिंग एंड 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 ऑल्सो प्रोवाइड एडुकेट पनिशमेंट फॉर द सेम सो दैट देर मस्ट बी अंश्योर्ड अ मिनिमम डेफरेंस अमंग द अमंग द माइंड अमंग among those people who perpetrate such uh, such uh, atrocities so in this context uh, the author highlights that supreme court judgment is bound uh, is b- uh, binding upon all the civil and judicial authorities civil means that is uh, uh, those relating to executive and then judicial authorities that are uh, under the supreme court the entire hierarchy of courts so this is basically by virtue of article 144 of the constitution so uh, which says that uh, any judgment of the supreme court or the high court it must be treated as a law of the land so so uh, october 4 order basically uh, so in this context the author highlights that uh, uh, in on 4 october a chief judicial magistrate uh, 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 he he ordered to register fir against 49 eminent citizens who who basically wrote to the prime minister uh, about uh, about uh, about the lynching incidents that are happening and to uh, uh, and have uh, requested to prime minister to inter- intervene to stop such incidents of lynching so in that context uh, uh, this chief judicial magistrate of muzaffarpur he on the on a complaint uh, of uh, on a compl- uh, uh, basically uh, this uh, uh, the chief judicial magistrate of muzaffarpur is surya kantiwari who uh, who is in uh, who he, he who entertained this petition by a serial litigant so in which uh, he alleged that uh, this uh, this this uh, this letter has caused the uh, uh, the, the they uh, they have uh, this letter has caused that uh, has acted in a manner that uh, this has tarnished the image of the country and undermined the impressive achievements of the prime minister so in this con- text uh, the chief judicial magistrate what he uh, did he ordered the fir and it was registered so uh, here the order here uh, the author says that this order is uh, was clearly unconstitutional and not just unconstitutional but also illegal and perverse so because uh, obviously uh, when uh, this order has was made then he must have ignored the binding judgment of the supreme court which was delivered on uh, uh, on Jul- in in the month of july on 17 july 2018 uh, which which uh, which issued the directives uh, to the parliament to enact legislation and also take all those preventive ameliorative and punitive measures that can be undertaken to prevent the uh, this uh, Uh, minas of lynching so obviously in that context author says that uh, cgm uh, b- b- the proper inquiry must take place against cgm who passed such order so then but uh, uh, also author uh, says that this is not the just case of lord judiciary but at several uh, t- times uh, uh, this has happened uh, um, uh, uh, again uh, uh, at the executive level as well as uh, judicial level so uh, judiciary dif- uh, uh, there have been various instances when uh, high court and supreme court has granted uh, the bail to those who are accused of lynching uh, and uh, all these examples have been highlighted by Uh, the author so in this context uh, the authors uh, uh, author says that the judiciary needs to undergo a- access to extensive sen- sensitization program to deal with such matters so that uh, uh, the judicial officers or the judges can be made aware of the gravity of the situation and uh, in this context the sensitization program must take place so uh, here uh, author says that this judicial apathy for example by guaranteeing bail or uh, by, pro- by by undertaking such proceedings such as ordering fir Uh, this sends very wrong signal to the future perpetrators because it uh, it eliminates uh, uh, the the fear of law uh, rule of law um, uh, from their minds and they are uh, they they tend to uh, uh, do, to repeat same acts in future or uh, some other people take the, take this as an example or model and they perpetrate such uh, such atrocities so uh, this uh, far from instilling fear of law such decisions remove the fear that fear so it is the time the supreme court must uh, take up uh, such cases of uh, 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 the author says that it is the time for supreme court and high court for to take sue motto action in such cases of acquittals and grant of bail sue, uh, and pass proper appropriate orders after hearing concerned parties so then uh, uh, here also uh, was, uh, court, uh, the supreme uh, the author cites one more judgment of the supreme court dated 8 february 2018 in which uh, he uh, he said that uh, 
uh, uh, uh, in which the Supreme Court said that we have no doubt that a court fully uh, a court fully conscious of plural composition of the court, while called called upon to deal with rights of various communities, cannot make such observations which may appear to be coloured by far or against a community. That the fact uh, the deceased body uh, belong deceased belongs to a, a certain community cannot be a justification for any assault, much less a murder. So here, uh, in this context, the author say. Uh, uh, the uh, Supreme Court judgment says that uh, the, uh, the, the court is itself uh, fully conscious of its plural, plural composition and uh, while uh, it deals with the rights of various communities, uh, it cannot be biased. It must uh, pass uh, unbiased judgment and also in, in this context uh, of the Supreme Court said that uh, the, the fact that, uh, uh, that a particular person belongs to a certain, certain community, then this must not be uh, the ground for denying such person uh, the rights he is entitled to or giving any special provision uh, uh, to him which is not available to other communities so in this context uh, uh, the author says that this uh, this approach should guide the entire uh, should be the and should, should be the uh, should be the approach of entire judiciary so this uh, uh, the judiciary should be guided by this entire approach which is uh, uh, the ultimate protector of right to life as guaranteed under article 21 of the constitution so this is about this article so this was an important article so so next article is the end game so this is about brexit so there is not much that uh, can be discussed in this article uh, which is important for you people so we will not be discussing this article and also this article the second economy uh, so i had read this uh, uh, article but uh, i found that uh, there is nothing important for uh, from your exam point of view obviously the author talks about uh, how the gandhian approach is towards economy but uh, uh, as per my observation it might not be same uh, uh, from uh, if you read the article uh, but as per my observation uh, the author's approach uh, seemed to me very inconsistent so in this context uh, we will not be discussing this article next uh, we will be discussing the explained part of uh, your uh, entire uh, uh, this uh, uh, indian express so uh, but there is very important part uh, part uh, the, of indian express that appears in the newspaper that is uh, indian uh, uh, that is explained so here we will be reading about uh, one important very important census that is livestock census uh, so it has been released by department of animal husbandry and dairying so it has released this livestock census which has been undertaken uh, in india which is undertaken in india for calculating total livestock so this livestock includes the cattle, buffalo, sheep, goat, pig, uh, mithun, yak, horses and ponies and mule, donkey, camel and total livestock. So, uh, so in this context, uh, uh, the broad observation that we will, um, uh, I will tell you that basically uh, the entire article is about, entire explained uh, uh, portion is about how the cattle population is shifting uh, from one region to other region and uh, and what is the trend. So basically, you can uh, we can uh, discuss the entire explained part by looking at this chart that is shown on your screen. So you can see chart one. So cattle population has shown a marginal increase of 0.83 percent. And then buffalo population has increased uh, to 1.06%. Sheep population has also increased by 14.13%. And then goat population has also increased. And mithun population that is popular, uh, that is the bovine popular in uh, northeastern India. So pop uh, its population has also increased. But And total livestock population has gone, has increased by 4.63%. So this shows that, uh, uh, and also there has been drastic decrease in pig population, yak population, horses and ponies, uh, mule, donkey and camel. So this shows that uh, the farmers are more uh, likely to uh, to domesticate uh, milk animals so focus is shifting towards uh, uh, those animals that provide milk and then uh, there has been other observation that is uh, that is that can that can be made by this uh, this explained part is that uh, the cow belt is also shifting earlier the, uh, in 2012 census up had maximum number of uh, 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 cattle but now the uh, the U in up the number of cattle population has decreased by by 3.93% and west bengal is now the state that has the highest uh, cattle population with a growth of 15.18% and madhya pradesh has also shown a decrease 
डिक्लाइन बट बिहार योर बिहार झारखंड असम एंड छत्तीसगढ़ रिपोर्टेड इंक्रीज सो दिस क्लियरली शोज दैट द काउ बेल्ट इज शिफ्टिंग टू वर्ड ईस्टर्न इंडिया वेयर एज देर इज डिक्लाइन इन द अर्लियर काउ बेल्ट दैट इज इन यूपी मध्य प्रदेश एंड देन ऑल्सो इन वेस्टर्न इंडिया ऑल्सो देर हैज बिन अ डिक्लाइन इन महाराष्ट्र ऑफ टेन पॉइंट जीरो सेवन परसेंट सो हेयर अदर थिंग दैट इज दैट इज इंपॉर्टेंट इंपॉर्टेंट दैट दैट इज वर्थ ऑब्जर्विंग इज योर category so uh, uh, category there are two types of categories that is exotic cross bred and then total uh, indigenous non descript so there are two, two types of cattle that are indig uh, first is indigenous and then exotic so the uh, the census has highlighted that the exotic uh, the population of exotic cattle has increased and it has uh, reported a growth of 26.9% and uh, the total number of it is as of now 50.42 million Ra uh, and the uh, population of uh, indigenous genius non descript variety is decreasing and it has decreased further by 6% and uh, the total population uh, uh, of uh, of this uh, indigenous uh, breeds is 142.11 uh, million so this uh, the, the indigenous variety of uh, cattle is decreasing and exotic variety is increasing so what this con what consequence uh, this will have uh, the consequence main consequence that is uh, that is to be uh, noted is that uh, the indige uh, uh, there is a concern that the cross uh, the exotic varieties lack the uh, quality uh, like the micronutrients in the, in their milk so important micro micronutrients that are there uh, that could be found in indigenous varieties that could not be found in exotic varieties so but then farmers are founding the, uh, uh, founding these uh, uh, indigenous or uh, non descript varieties as as uh, as, more, as a liability more of a liability so they are deserting the unproductive of cows so they are now shifting towards uh, then uh or uh, these exotic and cross bred varieties but then there are health and environmental impacts uh, the uh, concerns that could be uh, of be, uh, because the milk of indigenous breed has higher nutrition value than that of cross breds so this point is also worth noting so this was basically the observation regarding this so you can read this uh, in more detail by going by checking the newspaper now next is uh, how to tax uh, tax gains profiting from away so uh, here uh, uh, we will be talking about uh, uh, the recent uh, 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 kind of guidelines that have been issued by organization of economic cooperation and development regarding taxing uh, the uh, tax gains uh, tax gains that operate uh, from uh, different countries and that that have a uh, high um, uh, market in uh, in in the different uh, in other countries but they uh, they pay low profit there uh, they pay low tax on their profit there so in this context the organization of economic cooperation and development uh, it is basically a grouping of 36 mostly high uh, high income and free market economies has released a consultation paper proposing changes in the rules for taxing internet giants such as facebook apple google amazon and netflix so as of now uh, this basically this proposal is called unified approach so uh, the, it it is basically it is focusing upon shifting the standard of taxation from physical presence to the sales in a particular market so friends so you might be aware of the fact that indian uh, indian economy is also based upon uh, that uh, that physical presence of uh, Uh, companies uh, that uh, indian tax authorities also tax uh, um, uh, mnc's on the basis of their presence in the country and uh, and on the basis of uh, where they are based so here uh, uh, the uh, the observation that has been made by made by this that has been made by this group uh, organization is that oecd is that that uh, there are many tech giants for example facebook apple google amazon and netflix that are digital that are digital businesses they have uh, they have digital uh, presence in different countries and they sell their product products uh, in different countries and they have high consumer base in other countries but they don't pay taxes there because of that uh, the, the traditional rules the conventional rules uh, relating to physical presence uh, physical presence of uh, in a particular matter so currently the standard is there taxation is from uh, the viewpoint of physical presence that where the company is based but now this unified uh, approach is to shift the standard of ta taxation from physical presence to sales in a particular market so what this means uh, this the, the guidelines have been basically that uh, the uh, the, uh, the new guidelines aim to tax these companies 
based upon uh, upon checking uh, how uh, the, 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 we can say uh, the consumer base in a particular country so there is a basically the, the minimum standard that will be uh, that will be checked that uh, uh, the, uh, the more detail is that the proposal suggests designing the new rule and determining significant involvement in the jurisdiction by assi assigning a revenue threshold in the market so for example what is this what would be what would what, what would it mean by significant involvement so significant involvement is the thing that for example uh, uh, you can't say something that uh, this company has significant involvement in india or this company has uh, significant involvement in america so how to judge that significant involvement so for this uh, the organization has proposed that a revenue uh, threshold can be can be uh, can be marked and if a company is making a profit uh, from that particular country more than this threshold then that uh, that company would be taxable in the market market country so it considers uh, this to be uh, 750 mil, uh, million euro revenue threshold uh, but it is not yet final because yet uh, it is it has uh, uh, it has uh, only re released uh, these consultation uh, papers now uh, only and the final uh, process will only take place when the different countries and different uh, stakeholders uh, come and discuss about all these uh, new new uh, rules so the proposal basically uh, focusing uh, focuses on large consumer businesses broadly defined as businesses that generate revenue from supplying consumer products or providing digital services that have a consumer facing element so report says that this definition will further need articulation but its recommendation exempts resource extraction companies like oil companies so one thing here is very also uh, one more important thing is basically the companies the uh, uh, other companies will also be covered in it and not just tech giants for example automakers so automakers what uh, they have they have in uh, the market country so for example if, if we assume uh, uh, a particular automaking company uh, it is based in particular country for example Japan or South Korea and it is selling its uh, uh, product uh, uh, through a distributor so then it is making huge profit so it has significant consumer interface uh, but uh, but the taxation is not that much uh, because of that uh, conventional rules that uh, that relate taxation with the physical presence so this uh, uh, the nutshell of this is basically to change these rules to so far as uh, so far as taxing those companies is concerned uh, that make significant businesses in other countries uh, 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 and though uh, though they are not present there so proposals uh, 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 the, the proposal has to be discussed and it is expected that the G20 finance ministers are expected to discuss this proposal coming week and then uh, all the uh, stakeholders will be consulted and finalization of uh, this will only take place after consultations and uh, uh, why this uh, has been discussed uh, uh, this uh, uh, particular piece has been discussed because uh, India is also that type of economy in which physical uh, uh, much importance or much, much weight is, is assigned to physical presence. So in the emergence of uh, uh, global digital economy, the rules must change. So this could be a uh, could be a kind of we can say reference point for uh, for uh, for India uh, to see how the OECD comes with the uh, with its uh, rules rules for such digital uh, digital uh, uh, businesses. So friends, this is all about today's discussion. So if you like this discussion, then do ensure that you like it, share it with your friends and also ensure that you subscribe to our channel. So also friends, uh, if you want to join uh, our public telegram channel, then you can check the description box, box where the link of the public telegram channel is given. So if, uh, so here we have more than 14,000 subscribers. So if you want to be part of them, then you are mo more than welcome to join it and uh, do ensure that you check the description box. So thank you friends. Have a very nice day ahead.